Hello, Namaskar. My name is Samkit Pantia and I am an alumnus of Indian Statistical Institute. Today, I will be sharing a few of the advantages of an MA in economics and why I chose an MA in economics over other courses. So back in the day, I pulled out a few numbers which uh, made me decide to do an MA in economics. I saw that in an MBA, approximately 2,90,000 uh, students appeared for CAT, out of which 500 would make it to the top 10 MBA college of the country, which is about 0.17%. That is two out of every 1,000 people make it to the top 10 MBA institute of the country, where the fees was around 7 lakhs and annum. And the fees of a professional uh, coaching institute was around 30,000. And the job prospect of an average IM was around 10 lakh for a fresher. I'm talking about the cost to company or CTC. Okay. I focused on corporate placements and hence I looked at these uh, factors for an MBA and I looked at the similar factors which were available freely over Google and I saw these facts for an MA in economics course. People appearing for MA is around 2000. Getting into the top 10 institute was 200. So I had a 10% chance instead of a 0.2% chance of uh, making it to the top 10 institutes of the country, which is 100 out of every 1000, which is around 50 times more than an MBA. Okay. Even the fees of these institutes was much uh, lower uh, than an average IM. So at ISI, where I studied, I got paid to study. So I got a stipend of around 1200 a month. Okay. Uh, the coaching fees for professional institutes were around 10 to 12,000 rupees. Okay. And the average uh, CTC was around 10 lakhs. So when I got uh, placed uh, right after my ISI, I got into Barclays with a package of 10 fixed and three variable. So the package was around 13 lakhs in the year 2008. Okay. I have actually uh, pulled out uh, similar uh, numbers for the latest uh, 2021. Okay. Let me showcase them here. So for an MBA in the year uh, 2021, there were around 230,000 takers, 500 in the fresher and the general category get into the top 10 institutes. When I talk about an IM Ahmedabad, around 190 students are there in the general category and around 25 to 30% are uh, freshers. So around 50 students in an average IM are from the freshers and the general category. Okay, so 50 into 10 is around 500. So 500 make it to the top 10 institute in these two categories, which is again around 2.2 people out of every 1000. About two people in every uh, 1000 make it to the top 10 MBA institutes of the country. So it's almost the same that it was 14 years back, 13 years back. Okay, the fees of institutes have actually increased exponentially. So I am Ahmedabad charges you anywhere between 31 to 35 lakh for the two year course, uh, depending upon the accommodation that you choose. I am Calcutta is around 29 to 30 lakh on an average and I am uh, charges you around 27 lakh for the two years, including the tuition and the accommodation. The fees in order to prepare for these entrance examination uh, from a coaching institute is upwards of 1 lakh rupees because you have a GDPI preparation as well, which costs more over and above only the coaching. The average IM uh, gives you a job prospect of around 11 lakh CTC. When you take a look at IM Cozy code, the uh, data is available on uh, Google itself. The numbers are 10 lakh and 10.4 lakh average domestic package for a fresher. Okay. So uh, for an average IM, it is around 11 lakh and the uh, median is around 11.4 lakh for the domestic packages. 
for IIM. Visa V for an MA in economics, the numbers have actually gone up with uh, newer colleges actually coming into offering MA in economics courses like IIT Delhi, IIT Roorkee, IIT Bombay, IIT Chennai, uh, Shivnadar uh, University, Ashoka University, IAFT, these are also now offering MA in economics courses. So top 10 institutes of the country have actually increased their seats as well. So around 350 uh, freshers in the general category make it to the top 10 institutes for MA in economics, which is again the same, which is about 10%. 10% is again 100 out of every 1000. So the 50x stands even today. ISI has increased their uh, stipend from 1200 to 8000. So you get paid 8000 per month as a stipend at ISI. The coaching fees is again around 40,000 for the entire course, which includes the personal interview training as well. So everything is included in this 40,000. Everything is uh, covered in the 40,000. Okay. The average package for an ISI DSC is now 15 lakh uh, CTC. The highest goes up to around uh, 32, 33 lakh and the average is around uh, 15 for an average institute out of the top 10, the average package would be around 10 lakh an annum and the median would be around 10.3 to 10.4 lakh an annum. Okay. So these are a few of the, uh, you know, statistics, which each of you can also verify through Google Baba and see it for yourself. This is this information, each of you have understood the advantages of MA in economics and the other courses. So I would like to end this video by uh, giving a chance to each of you to make the right uh, choice for your future. I wish each of you all the best for your future. Bye-bye.